This is the gift family. Our life is a gift. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. We've come in another dimension uh, to discuss about the Word of God. Last time we shared about our testimonies. Uh, we met each other when we are called to serve God. So what we are, we are going to do is what I prayed for uh, before I got married. I had prayed to God to give me a husband that who is supportive in ministry. Thank you so much for allowing me to get married to you. Amen. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, I want to discuss about the, the dif difference between uh, the believers and non-believers. Uh, Jesus Christ left us with a, a legacy when he was going to heaven. Uh, a powerful legacy. Uh, he said that I'm going, but I'm not leaving you alone. I will send you a helper with the Holy Spirit. And in whatever you are doing, you can't manage without the Holy Spirit. In our previous testimony, we shared about uh, our testimony of how we got married uh, with the intervention of God. Sometimes people pretend and find problems on the way. But when you have the Holy Spirit, people can't pretend before you. Uh, I've come to, to tell you that you, you should be connected to the Holy Spirit. Uh, be guided by the Holy Spirit. Be with the Holy Spirit in whatever you are doing in the ministry. Uh, I, want, I wish you to have the Holy Spirit in God's work. Uh, the Word of God is so much helpful. But we are going to discuss about some few words, scriptures in the, in the book of Romans. Let's read it. Let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 3, verse 4. Haratangira Niba bamwe muri bo batizera kutizera kwabo kwahindura ubusa gukiranuka kw'Imana twatangiye hatubaza no baharacyatubaza ngo ntibishoboka ahubwo Imana iboneke ko ari ari nyanga mugayo nubwo umuntu wese yaba umubeshe nkuko byanditswe ngo tugezaho Hallelujah let's read in English uh, the the heading says God is judgment defended what advantage then has the Jew or what is the profit of circumcision? Much in every way, chiefly because to them were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe, will their, unbe will their unbelief make the faithfulness of God without effect? Certainly not. Indeed, 
Let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Uh, I love these scriptures. Uh, there are questions and answers. In, in uh, it is really sweet if someone uh, gives you a question and gives you an answer. But in the second chapter, mm. there, there, there is some details. There are some questions and in, in chapter 3 there are answers. The Jews, they used uh, God's crown. But let us bring it in the context of today. The Jews, we, we can uh, refer to the Jews as we people of today, the believers of today. Uh, they are people who were entrusted with God's treasures or God's legacy. A Jew is that faithful, uh, a, a believer who is able to differentiate between what is godly and not godly. A Jew who is the believer in the, in the context, of, context of today is, san, is someone who is able to uh, to do what is pleasing to God and do away with what is not pleasing to God. Yes, Amen. I wish you to be a true Jew or a believer. Uh, the Bible says the first, the first thing, the first advantage uh, is because they were uh, entrusted with God's treasures. Uh, being, uh, uh, having treasure of God. Uh, there are some people who go to uh, libraries to look for books, different books. Uh, books that were written by wise men and women and look for it in the library. But I want to tell you today, you are a, library, a library of God. So God chose one of us, one of the believers, to be a library. Okay. We are custodians of God's uh, wealth or riches. You are the custodian of God's treasures or riches. It means uh, you, you can easily differentiate what is godly and not godly. Uh, my brothers, my sisters, I give you a secret that you need to, to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Uh, make work hard to, to, to be connected to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Another important message in this uh, scripture is uh, being a custodian of God's treasures. Uh, in, in verse 3, it says that uh, uh, the non believers who are surrounding you can eat. Uh, put in vain all what God said to, uh, uh, to you, you. Uh, if uh, the group you are in, you are connected to, is believing, can that uh, make it so that uh, God is not a, a faithful God? Uh, and so on and so on. Uh, it's impossible. But because God wants to, 
to show that he is a God of integrity, he is a faithful God. If you, you pray your, your loan to be a library of God is knowledge, if those who are surrounding you don't accept or accept in whatever way they would take it in, in whatever way they would uh, internalize it God, God cannot change what he said unto you Hallelujah. Amen. I love you I would love to to continue with this message. Whenever I remember that uh, I'm a custodian of God is treasures. Even if I have some challenges around me, but when I remember that I'm a custodian of God is uh, treasures. I just say I can't accept anything that take away uh, what is in me. May God bless you. Let's pray. Where uh, are Father God, we thank you so much. You are our Father. Those who are listening to us, we are praying for them. Let them be true believers. Let them be true believers. Your word says that even if some can't, uh, can't believe in you, that can't make you. Uh, Fail to fulfill what you said. I'm praying for whoever has been listening to us. I pray a blessing upon them and to be able to know the, uh, the true timing of God. I pray for them. Give them good life. Those who are sick, let, be, let, let them be healed. Let those who are uh, uh, hopeless be hopeful. Let those who are not finding any way find it. In the name of Jesus. We thank you so much for your heart. Uh, we pray for everyone who has. Uh, uh, who is going to follow this uh, uh, testimony and message. We want to receive people testifying that they've been blessed by this message, telling us what God has done for them. We pray a blessing upon everyone. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. This is the gift family. Our life is a gift 